Okay, part five. And <coughs> it's really not looking so great for the north. Um, they're almost cut off. And the south actually starts a major offensive. Um, not into the northern heartland, but instead to re-liberate this area. They start their push into the northern parts of these states. They push down. They take Jackson, Mississippi. They also manage to recapture the Mississippi River. They manage to recapture the Mississippi River. And um, they take Baton Rouge and New Orleans. There probably would be somewhat of a fight going on there, but there isn't. Much of these troops are sent to Atlanta to defend the city because they know an attack is coming. But they take Mobile, Alabama. They take Jackson, Mississippi. The state surrenders. In Alabama, they start their push down. They take um, Montgomery and Birmingham. Um, and then Alabama surrenders. And the South actually begins a uh, offensive into Florida to hopefully relink up with these, um, these troops. Now, a lot of troops that were here have been sent to defend Atlanta, so they actually break through this front. Instead of going into Georgia, they do go into Florida here, and they actually manage to relink up with this Alabama force. Um, so it's not looking great for the North at all. Um, the, this front is holding out strong. Much of this area, um, is, like, rather undefended. And the troops, now that they're linked up, they start one major offensive. They try to take Virginia, Georgia, and they reach Savannah, Charlottesville. Um, they push into South Carolina. They take it, cut off this Georgia front. Atlanta then falls, and Georgia falls with it, and South Carolina. Um, and along with that, only these two states are left. <coughs> and they're ordered to retreat. So they do. And these two states fall. So now... The South is really, like, getting... The South is really getting um, good victories here. Due to some military geniusness, kind of, not really. And more to the fact that these states are very large. They took these. Um, the North didn't really use the advantage of people, and they didn't really have as many people. They're now kind of destroyed. But the South... Before they could win, oh, by the way, they also take this part of Virginia. Before the South could win, they have to, like, reach the New York area. So, first of all, the South pushes into West Virginia, and they take it. Now, this is big because this could be a launch point for invasions of, say, Ohio. The South takes West Virginia, and... A large southern force has is going up here, and they actually managed to cut off the south right here. Or the north here it is big. They make the south makes landings in the upper in the lower peninsula of Michigan, and they take it. Um. The, a lot of troops have been sent further east. Um, much of these troops, however, are trapped in Ohio. But Michigan falls, Detroit falls, but Ohio is put under siege. They take Cincinnati. However, Columbus and um, Cleveland are both put under siege. <coughs> As a large force still remains there. Um... So now the North, realizing that they're pretty screwed, these two cities fall. And the North, realizing they're screwed, um, starts looking for peace. Uh, New York, their capital, is uh, really not looking so great. 
The south also, in the meantime, pushes um, over the Potomac River, and they capture Washington, D.C., and Maryland, and now the Heartland, or this isn't really the Heartland, New England and the Mid-Atlantic are all exposed. They take Delaware as well. Um, New England is exposed. And, um, finally, a major offensive is set up here. They push into Philly. The city's put under siege. But with most of the troops in this area, um, they were able to take Pittsburgh, Buffalo Falls, and they try pushing across New York. This area, they take Albany, they take the rest of Pennsylvania, um, they reach up with their front, they reach up with much of their front, um, trying to siege Philly, and because Philly is the second largest city at the moment, a lot of troops are trapped here. So the North starts a minor counteroffensive to save these troops, and they do. Um, so these troops are able to evacuate, they're able to break the siege, and the troops could evacuate. But with all the troops gone, the um, city falls pretty easily. Um, as well as much of upstate New York, including all the cities along this line. Um, upstate New York falls, so does Philly. They start to make landings across the Delaware River in New Jersey. They take Trenton. Um, they take Newark. And New York City is put under siege. They just lost one of their largest airports. Uh, a push into Vermont starts. A push into New England. Vermont and New Hampshire fall pretty easily. Maine is surrounded. They, um, they also fall. And now the North has two major cities left. Um, the North just has New York and Boston. So they hope to cut these two cities off. They also have Providence, I guess. But they hope to cut these two cities off. They push down a major northern force. Um, they're still trying to defend. A major northern force um, is... Uh, what's it called? A major northern force has holding out to make sure these two cities don't get cut off. A bunch of forces from Boston then flee to New York to make one last major stance. A bunch of these forces in Providence, they can't hold out against a major southern advance. And uh, Boston falls, Providence falls. Uh, and now the push into Connecticut and downstate New York begins. Um, the South starts making major pushes along the Connecticut River. They take Hartford, and they reach New Haven, put the city under siege. Um, over on this side, they push into New London, much of um, eastern Canada, or not Canada, Connecticut. Um, and now New Haven is not looking so great. Much of the troops, uh, they're here. Uh, in upstate New York, they begin a push down into downstate. Um, much of the area is taken. And now there's a few key cities in this area. New Haven Falls, marking Connecticut's loss of its major city, of its largest city. A large force is pushing into this area. Connecticut is taken. Um, a landing is made in Long Island. They take the Hamptons, and eventually they reach Brooklyn and Queens. And now only New York City and Westchester County are left. Um, they start their push into Westchester. They take all of their major cities, and now only New York City remains of the North. And... Um, the north then pushes the south. The south then eventually on all sides after a long, hard battle, they push into New York City. Actually, you know what? They do not push into New York City. New the forces in New York try to sue for peace. However, the south 
knows that they could win this war very easily. So after a year of the city being under siege, New York falls, and with it, um, the South has taken over all of the country. Um, so, yeah, this country's now Southern. There's now two countries, however. There's this here, then there's the Republic of Washington and Oregon. Um, the South now has control of all the country. So we don't need these lines anymore, do we? Um, um, yeah, much of all of this is under Southern control. All of this Northern part is under the South. <coughs> and yeah, um, the state borders stay the same and um, the country southern, part five or six, I don't really know, um, yeah, maybe another video like this coming soon, 